Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Turn your radios up. Catch up shows back at it. DJ IQ. I'm in the building. Happy Monday. Co-host Annie B is in the building for Body Mondays. What up, Annie B? What's up, DJ IQ? And we are still bodying, which means bragging on dope, dope individuals. Dope. We have Maria Scott, the CEO of In the Black VIP in the building. What's up, Maria? Hey, yo. So you got a um, you got a co-founder too that kind of helped you out too. Shout him out real quick. Matter of fact, let me super shout him out right now because Derek Richardson is Black Beans, and Black Beans is one of our providers for our giveaway today. So two hundred and fifty dollars shopping spree Ooh. from Black Beans. Yes, baby. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. Well, that's the beauty of partnering with businesses. Right. Like they want, they love me. I love them back. So two hundred and fifty dollars to the, today's winner. And we love shopping the spree. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody, I love discounts. That's why I made the app. So if I could give away some for free i'm gonna do it that's what's up so while we at it let's talk about those giveaways yeah what's going on so this 250 dollars let's break it down real quick for the listeners okay so black beans is an online shop for everything coffee if you are a coffee connoisseur Ooh. you want this giveaway $250, we're going to make it easy for you, and it's going to be shipped directly to your house. All you got to do is place your order. Um, I have Stewart Beauty based in Gahanna, amazing location, one-stop shop for everything that is keeping you looking good and smelling good. She has a complete Yanni kit um, for the ladies, um, completely uh, everything, the Yanni wash, yeah, yes. they get it all <laughs> together, clean. honey, yes, all together. And then, from me personally, we have a free one-year membership to all um, to In the Black, but we also have a free Willy Wonka style coupon in that bad boy for one person to get to every last one of our events for the rest Ooh. of the year, free of charge. They normally thirty to fifty dollars per wow. event, so yeah, Reserves, you're winning. Entertainment, live art, it's lit. <laughs> That's two hundred and fifty dollars, y'all. All you have to do to win this giveaway is first of all follow In the Black VIP on Instagram and Facebook. But we're gonna start with Instagram first, and also follow Body on the Beat on Instagram and follow the Catch Up Show, y'all. I also want to make sure they tag what? Three friends, right? Let's oh. run that back. So the giveaway, how can they win? You tell them. You're going to want to follow In The Black on Instagram. You're going to want to fo follow Body On The Beat on Instagram. You're going to want to follow The Catch Up Show on Instagram. And tag. You're going to want to tag three of your friends. Three of your friends. With you, y'all. Yeah. And then we're going to select the winner, and then we're going to DM you and we'll let you know, and we're going to shut them out. Go so ahead. one winner wins all that stuff? Nah, we're going to break it down for three winners. That's what we came up with. So tag us, y'all. Tag us. Tag your three friends that you're going to bring with you. You have to follow all those rules before we can pick you. And then we're going to go ahead and announce the winner at the end of the show. They all great prizes, but you want that free event pass. Trust me. Yeah, you want it. that. For sure. And let's talk about your events. You do events here around the city, right? My events is crazy. <laughs> what you be doing out here? I ain't never been. Nobody's ever invited me. Oh, Anything? don't do that. He's, he's invited to the next one in April, mm -hmm. right? What's the next one? one? April 21st. Which, April 21st. What you got every, going on? Every other Thursday, I'm going to be at Community Grounds doing the Zero Proof Parties. Um, I, I'm a lover of parties. I'm a lover of food and drinks. Yes. Occasionally a little too often, so I like to throw a little something in there for people who don't feel like drinking every single day. So these it. are the Zero Proof Parties. It's actually a mocktail tasting. So right now, really popular with everybody are these non-alcoholic spirits that's out here. But they 30 to $50 a bottle, so it's hard to convince people to drink non-alcoholic alcohol that costs more than alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to do tastings, get people to enjoy it, like it, try it for the first time with me, and then see how they feel about it. I mean, at the end of the day, like, it doesn't make you perspire as much when it's not alcoholic, It's alcohol, summertime. Right? Like, some, it. it's, ladies, <laughs> it's summertime, ladies. It is not sexy. The sweat marks, uh, you know where the sweat marks be. You don't need them. We know we when to them. get hungover and when not to, ladies. So this event will cater to each and every individual, whether you drink or not. Absolutely. Like we said, live entertainment, right? Always. There's not an event I do that don't have live entertainment of some sort. I always have live art. We got either a DJ, we got a singer, we got something going on. Definitely. So DJ, I'm gonna I pull up. He gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up to the next event. See what's going down. Right. See, you already see. I bring food everywhere I go, baby. I, I oh, see. let's talk about taste yeah. buds in the house. We want to give a quick shout out to Taste Buds Catering for stopping through, bringing us some food. Make sure you check them out on the Instagram at Taste Buds underscore Catering. At Taste Buds underscore Catering. All right, it's 106.7 The Beat. Columbus is real hip hop and R&B. Turn your radios up for this one. It's the Catch-Up Show with your boy, DJ IQ. Hope you're having a great Monday now. Things got crazy yesterday at the Oscars between Chris Rock and Will Smith. I know y'all saw it. 
it was fire. Unbelievable to me. <laughs> you call it fire unbelievable. We got Annie B in here. What's up? We got Maria Scott in here. Yo. We got Chef T Lynn in here with yeah, Taste yeah. Buds Catering. So we're gonna hear from all y'all. First, I'm gonna give y'all my take. First, I see that Will had an episode because he was laughing, right? Mm -hmm. You see the video. He was laughing at the joke. Mm -hmm. Partially. Partially. I want to see the whole video. I want to see when he actually got up there. Like, what made him got up, get up there. I posted in my story. In the, the, the G.I. Jane joke. The G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> That's what it was. But when Will smacked him, too, mm -hmm. he turned around and was still smiling. It was like Will did not want to do this. But something was forcing him to do this. Like, he wasn't even walking. He wasn't taking his own steps. I thought the heat when he was walking towards Chris, no cap. Like, I could see it, like, all in his, his you know, the way he was just walking towards him. Like, so Chris didn't know he was going to get smacked? <laughs> well, I thought Chris didn't know he was going to get smacked? I mean, but who, that was picked who up would, energy. Who would slap the Oscar host uh, during the show? Who does that? Who would you got do the that? answer now. Oh, I was like, like, like that yeah, fire. Yeah. All right, so y'all ladies, and I mean, I'm a put y'all in Jada's, you know, point of view. Okay. And you with your man. If somebody says something that you feel is disrespectful to you, I mean, they out of show. We could just say out in public. Okay, we just in public in general. Maria, I'd have not the high I, I'd have beat him to the stage. <laughs> I'd have beat him Shoes to the stage. Because, huh? I mean, Chris Rock don't scare nobody. Yeah. Me and him could go hands. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I, look, I think that would have been more justifiable, too, <laughs> if Jada went up there. But not, If Jada would have smacked him, you think that would have been received I mean, I don't think, I don't know if Jada... Yeah, I think that would have been received differently. Jada no, because he never could have lived that down because you can't let your wife be the one that initiates a fight. Why not? But see, this goes to the next question. What would have been the If she, if she wants to be aggressive and I don't, why well, I got to be aggressive for her? And that's what it looked like Will was doing. Do. It looked like that, though. It looked like Will did not want to be aggressive. Jada did, so... She pushed him to handle it for him, and the then he the broke eyes down in tears. Is the part that you're talking about? When, huh? the, when she brought her eyes is when I felt like he finally felt like he had to get up. That's why he broke down in tears, because he did not want, want to, to do that. He's got some pent-up energy, man. Like, Of course. It's a lot for him. Like you said, it's been two years. He's Everybody's been, been at it. him. He's been going through it. His wife has been the, the topic of discussion for how, how long now? Yeah. But see, this is also the first time that I feel like the direction of the conversation changed from Will, Jada, and, you know, the, the mix-up with August. This is something that's actually have to do with her cancer. So, you know, right, saying, right. that might have been their trigger where, you know, after we could talk about that, he's going to be like, hey, you can't let that slide. He's been laughing all night. Wanda, everybody was, you know, joking about both of them. We've been doing that since award shows, since the situation happened, you know? He so could definitely take a joke. I think that definitely hit a trigger. Like, that cancer, G.I. Jane joke, I think it really took a Took too far. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a tough situation. But, I'm gonna ask y'all all individual. Who you think was right? I mean, who you think was wrong? Chris Rock or Will Smith? They both was probably wrong. But if you had to put it, if you had somebody had to be guilty, who's guilty? I would Chris say, Rock don't think you can't get touched. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. That's yeah, all I'm gonna say. Not that. right. Not wrong. I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just saying, if you gonna say something that could get you touched, duck. Duck. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> what about you, Eddie B? <laughs> So I'm going sent similar direction, but a little different. So my angle on it is, you know, I feel like there's a time and place for everything. I definitely think Chris was wrong. He definitely deserved to get hands laid on him. But I would just wait it because me and Babe just move differently. But that's just on some me and Babe type movement because I feel like everything isn't made for the public view when it comes to that emotion. But yeah, he would have definitely got them hands. Chef T. Lynn. <laughs> Um, you know, I don't think that was the time or the place. I mean, you know, us people, we we had a good night outside of all that, um, so it definitely reflected a lot. But, um, I mean, again, you can't just lean out with your face out <laughs> and think you're about to get rocked. You're hosting the Oscars, <laughs> though. You're on live television hosting, hosting the Oscars. Only one person in the world out of a billion gets to host, host the, the Oscars, Oscars yeah. and you get slapped at your job? Yeah. That's disrespectful. Will Smith, man. And you still got an award, y'all. <laughs> Will Smith yeah, needs some therapy, yeah. But congratulations to Will Smith. That's crazy, man. I think I think Will was definitely in the wrong. I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of things to think about in that situation. And, you know, and I don't couples, know. And mind y'all's business because they're married. I know everybody has their right. opinions, but, like, marriage is a whole other thing. We ain't going to talk about it too deep. But, you know, that's just not a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. That's right. a long-term relationship, and they got a lot of things going on. So make sure y'all just check in with y'all selves and y'all partners, yo. And... Hey, all y'all um, boyfriends out there that think you can just slap, slap somebody for disrespecting your girl, I don't think that's a good idea. You'll no, probably you get, marry you'll probably get shot. You'll probably get shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
right, y'all. Thanks for y'all's input on that. It's the Catch Up Show. Hit me on Instagram, at DJIQ614. We coming right back. Keep it locked.